it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome I'm really excited for today's video because we are reviewing all of well most of the recent products that have been sent to me as PR in a ranking style Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of context on, on this before we get started. So ranking style review videos are popular in the beauty YouTube community. You basically go through a list of products in any kind of category and review them from worst to best. And I thought it would be fun to do that with my PR because I haven't shared my thoughts on all of these products and I thought it'd be a really fun way to share my thoughts and also a fun way to kind of like see what small influencers get in PR all in one video. So just a disclaimer, yes these products were sent to me but the opinions and thoughts expressed in this video are 100% my own. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. And also, I really don't think there's a worst. Like, I like all of these products, and I thought of this when I was choosing the order. I was like, if I had all of these things, like I had them, and someone came up and took one, what would I care the least that they took? Like, so my least favorite. So I'm going from least favorite to most favorite, but, I like them all like I don't think any of them are bad so when I'm going from number 10 to number one don't think that number 10 is necessarily a bad product it's just my personal least favorite because of my preferences okay I think oh and anything I will try and link in case you're interested all of where you can get these products if you're interested down below so let's just get started in the ranking all right so number 10 is some lashes these are from a store called pure lior and they sent me this pack right here and they also sent me this set with a variety of lashes, a lash glue liner, and a lash applicator. And the lash glue liner is okay. It's not as good as the Kiss one. And the lashes just aren't as flexible as I want them to be. Like, I have really round top lids and it's hard to get like bands to conform around my eye and these these were some tricky ones to apply but they are pretty and you can get nice variety packs and I don't dislike them but they're my least favorite the next one number nine is also lashes these are from another Amazon store this is Amita lashes this is a really nice variety pack that goes from neutral to dramatic and this is it just this pack of lashes and i really enjoy these ones i think these bands are a lot more flexible they really conform right to my just pop right on so easy to apply and i like the variety um but i just don't wear lashes that often but if you want to check them out, go ahead. Then number eight is the last bit of lashes. Spoiler. <laughs> no more lashes after this. But this is from GXO Beauty. And they sent me this variety pack right here. I They have one in the center, but that's actually the lashes I have on my eyes right now. And they also sent this little bag with an applicator and two of the most bougie looking not in a bad way but like rhinestone pearl covered magic eyeliners <laughs> oh my gosh they're so over the top I can't get over this packaging these 
they say they're magnetic in some way, but to me, they seem to work like a lash glue liner. And they, they're they not bad. They're be slightly better than the Pure Lure one, um, but I still prefer the Kiss one over these. But I, I do like them, and I really like the styles in this set a lot more than the previous set. So that combined with this amazing packaging is why it ranked above the Amita lashes. But that was GXO Beauty at number eight. At number seven, we have a neck cream. This is from Grocerism, which is another Amazon brand. And they have like the pump action here. So you just press it down and the neck cream comes out. And it's supposed to be anti-aging, firming, and moisturizing. And here, let me do a little pump for you. Did you see that? Was that satisfying? So this is really like like thin and lightweight and i do like it a lot it's really moisturizing but maybe my neck is just too young to notice a difference because i don't know i haven't really noticed that my neck seems like firmer or younger looking so i just i i really haven't noticed a change in my neck it just feels nice to moisturize it um but it is is a nice moisturizing cream and maybe if you know you had more aging in your neck than me you might notice a difference i don't know but that is number seven grocerism neck cream number six is the one product i have already featured on my channel and it might surprise you that it is so low in the bottom half it's the, I still don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, the La Quest Revitalized Nutrient Organic Face Oil. I did a dedicated review video on this because I was so impressed with it. It is a fan freaking tastic oil. Like, I can say nothing wrong about the oil itself, but the price, it's over $100 for just like one ounce or something. I, I don't see anywhere a liquid major thing. It was probably on the package, but like it's over a hundred dollars for a bottle of oil. And that is just hard for me to, as someone who's like, you know, lower income, not living the luxury, like, Jaclyn Hill Jeffree Star lifestyle. Uh, <laughs> that's just a big chunk of change to me. And I, I just, I love this. And I don't know if I'll ever repurchase it when I run out. But I would love to because it's amazing. But that price just knocks it down so much for me. It's so good though. If, if you're living that luxury lifestyle, go buy this. It's amazing. So that's number six. Number five, we have our first makeup. This is from Revlon. Um, I am part of this site called Influencer. If you haven't heard of it, um, it's basically where you sign up and you link like your social media profiles and take surveys and do reviews. And based on that, they send you packages to review. So they sent me a Revlon package, or Vox Box as they call it, and I got the So Fierce Big Bad Lash and the So Fierce Chrome Ink, and this is in the shade Bronze Age. And I typically don't like mascaras with these type of fluffy wands, but I actually really enjoy this mascara. I think it makes my lashes look really beautiful. It's not like I'm I'm a person who struggles with getting mascara everywhere when I'm applying it somehow and this does not get everywhere. Um and I'm wearing it like with the lashes and on my lower lash line today and I think it's a really beautiful formula. I really like it. And this liner has such a cool tip and it's a really pretty color 
but I just haven't reached for it hardly since I got it. Um, I do think they're good products and I do love them and I love the price, but I just, I'm not reaching for this liner. So that's why it wasn't quite so high. Whoa. <laughs> Number four is one where this brand like personally reached out to me through an email. I didn't work through like them contacting me with Amazon or Influencer or anything like that. And this is the Duval Radiance Spin Care System. It's basically like a Clarisonic. Everybody knows what that is, right? It's basically like a Clear Sonic, except this particular set has a bunch of different heads. So, so we have this pumice stone head, which is amazing. This body exfoliating huge one right here, which I really like. This regular cleansing one. For your face and this exfoliating cleansing one for your face and then you have the device itself which is battery operated and the bottom pops off and you pop batteries in and it's really easy to switch between heads you just go like this turn it on go like this pop it off super easy there are pros and cons to this one i like this device i've honestly never had this this kind of thing like a clarisonic type tool before i've had tools like the foreo like silicone one before but i haven't had the brush head kind of tool and i like it but i will say that it is on my like sensitive dry skin the regular cleansing head feels like an exfoliating head and i am scared to use the exfoliating head on my face because this one feels intense and I only use it a couple of times a week but when I do use it it's like a really intense good clean and then this one for the body um I I don't know it, it's really weird to like buff yourself all over but it works really well it, I would say it works comparable to using a body scrub and um, it's really easy to like rinse out and get clean um, and then the pumice stone action is really cool like see that action there really sands you down so I really think it's nice to have all this variety of attachments as well. It's a nice set and this is nice and comfortable and lightweight to use. I, I don't have a lot of problems with the product itself other than it's really intense on my sensitive skin. The problem I have is here, let me pull up because they gave me a coupon code for when I showed this to my followers uh, um, and it was a 70% off coupon code and it brought it down to I think $28 let me just go find that email and verify it okay okay yeah, so they gave me a 70% off code, which is just HL the Great, and that gets you this whole kit for $28.50, which I think that price is a really good price. That's a really good deal to get all of these attachments with the device. I'm cool with that. The problem I have is that that is with the coupon. Full price without the HL the Great code it is a $95 set. With these such like a mainstream dupable device now, I just, I'm a little shocked at that $95 price tag. But again, you can get it for less than $30 with all the heads. So if you've been looking for something like this, 
it's a really good deal and go grab it because I do like this. But those are all the positives and the negatives of that one. All right, number three. So this one is the only other makeup package. And this was also another influencer package. And it is the YSL, what is it called? Water Stain Glow Bomb. It's in the shade 214. And I am wearing it right now. I did put on two layers because I wanted it to be a little more glossy. But it is just a really sheer, like, can you see that? A very sheer, like, stain for your lips. Uh, with a little bit of a sheen to it, but it does dry down and and leave color behind like a stain and It's really great for something like natural and everyday to wear under a mask. I really like it The one con again, it's luxury. It's YSL. <laughs> I Don't know. I don't remember how much it is, but I'm sure it's it's more than I would usually pay for a lip product but I like it. Here, let me put some more on for you so you can see how it's built, how it builds even more. Cause it's really, oh, it's really buildable. <laughs> see, so now it looks even more like a lipstick and more opaque. So it's a really nice product. Okay, top two. We're almost done. <laughs> the top two was the hardest choice out of all of these. Like, these were hard to rank because I do like them all, but the top two were so hard. And that's because, again, price. Price is a huge factor to me. Like, when I think, if someone sends me something, like, let me look up what the YSL Okay, so the YSL, what, I don't want Sephora, it's $38, it's $38 for, for one lip product, it's kind of pricey, and if I lost this, would I go buy it again immediately? Probably not, and I don't think you need to run out and buy it, you know? That's how I think about things that people send me. Like, I think, would I buy this? Would, would, would I think it was worth shelling out that amount of money for it? And, and that's why I've mentioned price in so many of these things. Because it is a big deciding factor for me and whether I would purchase a product. And so I think it also goes into how I would recommend a product. So the next items was sent to me by influencer and they were this is number two they were the shishado vital perfection uplifting and firming cream enriched and liftifying radiance serum these guys individually so this one by itself and this one by itself they each cost $135. That means if I wanted to buy these again after I run out, I would have to shell out $270. That is what kept these from being number one because frankly, these are freaking amazing. Uh, this serum is, let me just waste a little bit on my hand, is so much the kind of like milky creamy lightweight hydrating serum that I love and I feel like my lines are getting smooth and I don't know I don't I don't ever notice any lifting effects with my face I don't know if maybe I'm just like with my neck a bit stop if I'm just not you know sunken down enough yet or or I I just 
don't know what I should be looking for. I don't know. But I do notice that my skin is looking a lot smoother. Like my forehead lines, my eye lines, my smile lines. Like all those fine lines are looking a lot smoother. And I'm feeling really hydrated and glowy too without makeup. And I, I think it's, I think it's these guys. I think it's maybe in these guys. So this cream, I can't even tell you how it feels, but I will tell you where my mind goes. When I put this cream on, just the teeniest amount, just like a little bit, and rub it in it feels like a combination of like soaking in a hot tub and like when you're parched getting a glass of ice cold water for your but for your skin like your skin is relaxing in a hot tub but also getting a glass of ice cold water it's like that relaxing and refreshing I am addicted to putting this on my skin. It feels so good. And the smell, like both of these products are mildly fragranced, but the smell is not irritating to my skin. And it's not t uh, strong enough that it it's also like giving me a fragrance headache or anything. It's a very mild smell, which is nice, but... I mean, the serum is good, and I think it's been smoothing out my lines, but the, the cream... Okay, I'm, I'm back. I, my camera just shut off, because I guess I've been talking too long, and we were getting to number one in the ranking. So, <laughs> number one is the package of Face Tory masks that I got. I got the Dream Garden Chamomile and the Dream Garden Elderflower, and I have tried, I haven't used these specific ones, but I have tried this one in the past, have not tried this one, but I will say, I love these masks. Now, full disclosure, I am an ambassador with Face Tori. And I have a code with them that earns me in commission. But I'm not putting them at the top to try and get more commission out of you. It's because I genuinely love their sheet masks. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you should know by now that I am a maskaholic. I have had face Tory mass subscriptions, I have had boutique mass subscriptions, I, I go through so many masks, I love them so much, and the face Tory ones are so good. The ingredients are really well thought out and work really well with my skin, and the sheets, I don't know, you, you, I think you can kind of tell when you're using a sheet mask when it's like, not as good because the sheet is a little like harder to like put on your face and shape everywhere and fit to your face like they're just harder to put on and get apart and these ones are just so easy to use and they're at such a good price point I mean I just placed an order for myself with one of their deals because they're constantly having deals and I got 23 for $23. So a dollar a mask. That's a really good deal. So the price is right. The ingredients are good. The quality is good. And these are truly my favorite and the best of the best PR that has been sent to me. And if you want to use my code and purchase anything from Face Story, I would appreciate it, but don't feel pressure. And by the way, that code from Duvol, I'm not getting a commission from. That one is just, it's just a code to make it $28 instead of $95. Yeah. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, I forgot. I have an honorable mention. So... I I don't know if this counts as PR 
or if this counts as a gift with purchase, but I am like acquaintances, kind of friends with this girl on Instagram, and I found out she had a lip gloss business on Etsy, so I decided to check it out, and I found this bad boy, which is a umbrella shaped lip gloss. I had to get it and I ordered it and I told her that I ordered it and she said oh thank you for ordering I'll send you some extra goodies and and she sent me lots of extra goodies and I don't know if that's a gift with purchase or PR I'm not sure what that is but I wanted to shout her out and show off her awesome products um so first of all there is this blue lip gloss that's in the shape of an umbrella and then there's Sorry, that was my husband calling from gaming. Um, there is this peach lip gloss in the shape of a baby bottle. So cute. And it's still like, even with the baby bottle top, still has a little Dofa applicator. It's so cute. And then she sent me this um, purpley one with a marble and rose gold, like, is that octagonal? I'm not sure. I can't count. It's some kind of geometric, I don't know, it's, it's shaped like the Fenty, but it's, well my camera overheated and cut me off, um, I was talking about this beautiful little thing, it's a purple one with blue sparkles, and then Alicia also sent me this hand, this handful of butterfly clips and this gummy bear ring so cute so i'm really thankful to her and thankful to all these companies for <laughs> deciding to gift things to me but i hope you check her out um i will have her shop linked down below and let me know your guys' thoughts because this is a different video like nothing I've ever done. And I'm just really curious if you like this, if you want to see more of this. Um, are you going to buy any of this? I, I don't know. This is just all new, but I, I hope you liked it, and I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.